The National Investigation Agency has raided the premises linked to the Popular Front of India in several states and over 100 top PFI leaders and functionaries have been arrested during raids in 10 states. Formed in 2006, the PFI claims to work for the empowerment of marginalized sections. They say that what's happening is a witch hunt, it's baseless, it's sensational. The National Investigating Agency is creating an atmosphere of terror. But law enforcement agencies say the, uh, the, the group promotes radical Islam, those involved in terror funding, organizing training camps and radicalizing others to join extremist groups. On uh, the show tonight, raids on the PFI, the Popular Front of India. Is this a crackdown on terror or is this an attempt at targeting minorities? Joining us at this stage, Binoy Kumar Singh is a political analyst, Dinesh Chandra Vashne of the CPI, Ravi Srivastav, the political analyst. We're also joined by A.K. Jain, former Director General uh, of Police in Uttar Pradesh and P.K.D. Nambiar, uh, someone who supports uh, the BJP. Uh, Dinesh Chandra Vashne, let me come to you first. Um, there's a lot which has been said about the group itself, uh, the Popular Front of India, uh, the fact that they have been associated with violence in the past. Uh, is this something that really needs to be looked at? Do you believe that there is a strong justification for what is happening? Look, Vishnu, let me put into perspective being a CPI leader and leader of the left. Isolating or uh, creating only one organization responsible for any these type of radicalization and the terror funding. We are opposed to any type of communalism. We have a fight with the PFI in Kerala. And, but at the same time, I would like to know any organization which based its politics on religion or use religion in their politics. Be it PFI and RSS, what is the difference? I would like. But let's yes, talk yes. about no, 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 no. I, I, I. One second, sir. I don't think anything justifies violence if it comes from the no, right or if it comes from the no, left. No, no. That or, or any group. No, so any, I don't think we can make that equivalence. Any violence are, from any group, whatever religion, is unacceptable. I was coming to that. You interjected me. Every brand of communalism, every brand of violence, is wrong is bad it is condemnable it must be stopped. absolutely they absolutely but let's not divert our focus but, from what's happening today and but, at the moment but, you see you see sir the moment we get into a conversation and this it, it where we say that oh but you know that group is also violent uh, this may be violent it sort of soft pedals the allegations made against the pfi i'm just trying to understand the seriousness of the charges no doubt that PFI may be involved in that, but at the same time, I don't know what is the example of Sadhvi Pratya. She is not a member of the parliament of BJP. Have the she associated herself from the BJP parliamentary group? I would like to know what is this? There are 71 senas created by the right wing organizations in India, directly or indirectly supported by the RSS. Who are those? What is Vishwan Hindu Parishad? Okay. No, they first all right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I, okay. Again. No. Isolating one organization. We no. Are, no. We sir. Are, I, uh, we are most most respectfully disagree. All, these type of all groups involved in we violence must be must be targeted and taken down. Be it but the moment we say why haven't those groups also been brought down? That in the context of what has happened today is not correct, sir. If you if you want to say that the PFI is okay, they are above board, they are being targeted wrongly, etc, etc. If you have an argument, that's fine. But to say that, what about the other groups that have not been targeted, it seems to soft pedal the allegations against the PFI. That's problematic, sir. No, not at all. This is the politics of BJP. To show only the Muslim okay. organization, all right. or Islamic based organization, the terror organization. All right, okay, you made that point, you made that point clear. Yes, all the... Whether it is the minority community. All right, no, I get that point. You want to make that equivalence? That it is, that's your right. I want to get a reaction. Organizations sit together to harm the left and right. the progressive politics Pe of the nation and the world. PKD Nambiar, respond to that. He says that this is one group. Why not blame others who are equally involved but in different contexts? I strongly condemn, sir, first of all, that the way he is comparing PFI and the RSS or NSPPA and the RSS. There is no comparison and I think 
he better need to i is much more senior to me in in every aspect but i can only request you just sir you don't need to call to the college you need to start going to the kindergarten to know what is rss is all about and know to know about who is pfi and what is pfi just refer to the comrade just refer to the comrade be your former minister ps achyudanand the demolition of babri masjid what have you done in demolition of babri masjid who minister of kerala kodiyeri palakrishnan if you really look at their statement other angles you pfi than you we are kerala must clearly pfi than you in kerala we have all right both of you we can't understand a word i want to bring in binoy kumar singh uh, at the stage i need to complete my statement uh, otherwise it will be very unfair today no no you made your statement pkd you made your statement i'll come back to you i i, I mean you know there's too much shouting there um binoy kumar singh um now as far as the pfi is concerned it's apparently been founded by former members of simi which is uh, banned in india uh, the activities of this of of a group which was affiliated with it called the ndf were widely discussed in kerala there was communal riots in kodi code in 2002 2003 uh, there were killings in both communities hindus and muslims therefore do you believe that this group the pfi is strongly associated with violence or terror uh vishnu first let me make it clear that pfi is not connected to simi pfi is simi pfi is 100% simi it is the same wine into a new bottle with a new brand name and uh, look the thing is that there are two ideas of india the future india of india in 2047 one idea is of the government of india which wants to remove to remove the badge of a developing nation and we want to move into the next league the other idea of india 2047 is the idea of pfi which want india to be disintegrated to be dismembered and they want to turn india india into a caliphate and why i say that pfi is simi because i like to refer to the uh, report by uh, uh, the banning uh, uh, of simi uh, by the government of india so the report mentions several points just two points i am mentioning one of the point is that instigating muslims on the ram janmabhoomi babri masjid were delivered by the lucknow bench of allahabad high court that is the matlab the background why pfi was banned that is mentioned in the uh, tribunal's judgment and the second is that they were targeting certain individuals and let me make it clear that the same simi organization which was involved in the plot to kill narendra modi in ahmedabad serial bombings in patna serial bombings and the same pfi was involved in bhima koregaon and the recent incidents in july what happened in patna something big was planned in patna all right sir those are just Kodi. allegations until, until they uh, those are allegations in, sir Bhima, again bhima koregaon those are and allegations that point, need to be proven point, Vishnu, very important point i would like to make that look the connection of pfi with bhima koregaon you will be surprised that the terrorist which is being investigated and which, which is being accused for conspiring to kill the prime minister of india rona wilson he was lobbying to get the ban lifted on pfi in jharkhand so what connection to a, a rona wilson guy who is conspiring to kill the prime minister he has to do with pfi no i so think there is a lot as far as that rona there wilson case is concerned evidence. which is different from there pfi which you are sort of bringing in no 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 sir you are mixing up cases over here we can only Why talk about cases where there has been a conviction one moment let me go let me go across to ak jain one second one second mr jain former dgp of uttar pradesh sir in in your understanding of this group and there have been cases which have been proven in a case of in a court of law for example a 2010 incident of chopping off the hand of a college professor in kerala etc etc do you believe that this is a terror outfit of some sort it is a terror outfit i have noticed the involvement of uh, uh, pfi in several cases of up recently uh, you know about the incident of at what, what happened at prayagraj at kanpur um, uh, crowds came out of the mosque and uh, attacked police uh, luckily it was not a communal riot the police was attacked but the uh, organizational capacity of pfi shouldn't be underrated at all i have seen the capacity 
of organization capacity of uh, PFI during CA and RC riots in 2019 in Lucknow and other places. PFI was 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 instrumental. I have been associated with Lucknow police for for a very long time. I have never seen such crowds. Within minutes, there were thousands on road and OB vans were burned down and 100% uh, involvement of PFI was, was there. So, in, in, in several incidents of UP, initially we used to think that PFI is confined to Kerala only and its uh, activities, disruptive activities are in Kerala. But uh, in recent times, they have, uh, they have come to Bihar, UP, Madhya Pradesh, Assam, all these places. Okay. And, it, and it has a large following, okay. uh, which is very, very unfortunate. Okay. Um, Ravi Srivastava, if you now, you know, I mean, we've, we've heard one side of, uh, of you know, what uh, has been alleged against the PFI, but in terms of what they say, and these are the words that they use today, that this is a witch hunt, it's baseless, sensational, the NIA is creating an atmosphere of terror. Uh, do you believe that there is any truth in any of this, that this is an effort at hitting out at a minority group, at a Muslim group? Uh, Vishnu, uh, I think uh, terrorism, radicalism, violence can just not be accepted. And whosoever does it must be identified and should be brought to book. But fact is that the neutral neutrality is the hallmark of the government that gives the credibility to the government. If they go for a particular group and uh, as, as per the record, what this government has done in last eight years? They knew the existence of PFI. They knew that who are operating it. Even the PFI's top bosses were all who were in the semi. So why did the government kept quiet? Why did they not catch them earlier? Why did they not book them, convict them? Till date, I don't think that anybody is convicted. Or till date, the so-called terror funding, any money trail has been found with the PFI. I am not defending the outfit. What I am saying is that there are similar kind of activities done by the other uh, communal outfits, but no action is taken. Nobody is raided. What what has uh, happening in Karnataka? You watch it in Shimoga, uh, Mangaluru, Bangalore, several places. The right wingers, they, they people, they murdered people. Their people were also murdered. I am not saying that only one sided story is there. But then the government did not act upon them. And here it is going the hammer and tong on 15 it states 106 people rounded up and all that. What I wish is that should be faster inquiry. They, they have done a crime. They should be booked and hanged for that matter. There are terrorists as they, uh, it is uh, already said by the other panelists. But then the government kept quiet for all along. Some states have already banned PFI. Why did the government took eight years to ban the particular organization if they knew so they So what is the answer to that they question, are, sir? What is What are you saying? Why Why did the government take so long? Uh, is it because they are selectively targeting groups? Vishnu, uh, can I? Can I? Half a second. Half a second. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's the point. Okay. The neutrality okay. is not there. One second. One second. Discriminatory one second. bias BJP attitude. Okay. Binoy, uh, Binoy Kumar Singh, would you like to respond to that? That uh, this Vishnu, selective targeting. Vishnu, Vishnu, there is a rule of law. We practice democracy. And just a simple example I am quoting. Take the example of 2000 Mumbai attacks. The very next day, we know that the guy was named Asmal Kasab and there were videos and there were evidences. The investigating agencies, the courts, even the whole of the country was convinced that who did this. But it took four years to hang him because there is a rule of law, uh, there is a, a law which needs to be followed. So before conducting the raids or before banning PFI, we need to take time, we need to have a 360 degree uh, survey or analysis. So no, sir, sir I, again, you that, 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 again, uh, sir, respectfully, Ajmal Kasab was filmed with, with a gun in his hand in, in a railway station. There was overwhelming evidence. The process to hang Kasab that, that took time because it went through a legal process. That's separate. Over here, we are talking about whether the evidence in all of these cases, for example, foreign funding and, and what exactly has happened over there, Right? Whether the, the role of this group in recruiting Indians, and sending them across to terror outfits in Afghanistan and Syria, etc., etc. These are all allegations. I'm just trying Vishnu, to understand whether these no have been proven these or these remain just allegations. 
Vishnu, there are truck can load I, of can evidences. I make a point, please? There can are truck load of evidences and PFI is not a simple outfit. It is a can terrorist I, outfit with the next generation motor superintendent. They, they work on 3D. No, Democracy, them. demolition, Sir, design. Any, and there are three Ds also. Talent, training any, and target. Okay. No, and evidence. It, all right, Dinesh Vash, all right, half a second. Dinesh, Dinesh Vashni wants to respond. Go ahead, sir. You say, Vishnu, they will not ban BFI. Reason being, it helped the politics of the BJP to instill the psychosis of fear of the minority <laughs> community you, you, and the minority terrorism thought, in the minds of the Hindus, where the, the Hindu organization, many of the uh, right wing Hindu organizations well, are also in the same of private politics. We I don't heard, defend PFI heard. at all. Ban them. We have fought against the PICM. We are fighting against PFI. The communists are known for fighting against the communal organization. Be it India, be it in Iraq, be it in Iran or anywhere in the world. Right. So you say so, ban them. That's what you're saying? Yeah, ban them. They will not ban. Reason being, it serves the politics of BJP. Panic button. Show the panic of the Muslim community to the Hindus and it helps their... No, no, sir, I'm more, not understanding, more, uh, sir. You're on the one hand and... saying ban the PFI. On the other hand, you're, you're, you're talking about, you know, targeting of the Muslim community or, or I haven't understood what you're trying to say, sir. No, no, I it's, say... It's, it's, are you saying, are you BFI saying that minorities or Muslims in India are being targeted by... No, no, one second. Of the minority community among the majority community. No, no, one second, sir. So that I understand, Mr. Vashne, are you saying that the government through the ED and through the NIA is targeting Muslims in the country by going after the PFI today? No, no, I am not saying this. I say the BJP mm -hmm. will not target the PFI, BJP will not ban the PFI at all over India level. Reason being, it helps the politics of the polarization of BJP and RSS in the country. See the uh, Imam meet, Imam Council Chairman meeting with the Mohan Bhagwat oh. today. The same thing. They run there like this. They run the politics through sadhus. They run the politics through the minority community, right wingers, markers, or everything. There are loyal wingers. PKD Rambiad, a last comment to you. Uh, do you believe that um, you know this largest ever crackdown? will actually reveal what has not been revealed over so many years and over so many allegations, over so many states? Mr. Mr. You may not have seen me so Im uh, impatient uh, till today in any of your shows. As no, no, not really, PKD. I have seen you quite impatient in the past, but do go no, ahead. No, today, you know what, <laughs> I'll tell you Vishnu, today is very sad. The, most of the people don't even understand what PFI has done to this country. Forget about it from the Kerala. The history of that from CME to PFI to STPI, because I have seen it, business, studied it, thoroughly written so much about it, and people are just coming and blah blah it without even having a one iota of a fact. The number of people who have been killed, in not only just the Hindus per se, it is also to the Christians, the Lao Jihad, the Hijab issue, the Delhi riot, the riot in Mumbai, the problems which we are all. Uh, even in the Udaipur, yeah, no, but sir, just the one sec, the hijab issue is is being heard in court. It it it, it, it I mean, re, being supporting the hijab right, issue right, right, isn't right, equivalent right, to terrorism, right, sir. Speak about that. This is the same people. This is the same people who had even come up with an idea of a Malabar course. If you travel, I invite you to come to the Malabar course. So what is Kapil Mishra? Tell me. What is Kapil Mishra? region, and I can tell you that the demography of the entire Malabar coast has changed. Completely changed the food habits, the dressing habits, the, the look and feel of it is completely changed. By the PFI. By the PFI. Of course, PFI and STPI, you come to me. It has changed. I All right. Okay. I completely changed. Completely changed. Change what, what PKD? Is. What have they changed? No, no, I am saying you that what I am saying is that the, today the, the, the number of people, do you know that an Indian Express, I can send you that link offline. At Indian Express article four years ago says that 80 people who had gone to uh, from the Malabar region alone to the ISIS who are who have been recruiting them. Now how many once people again, of the uh, PFI and the FBI has already been arrested by all right, one agencies, including the Kerala government? The Kerala Vishnu. government. Yes, the, yes, go ahead. Both chief ministers, two chief ministers. All right, I, I, all right. One, one second, no, no, Mr. One, Vashne. Uh, former, Dinesh, former Dinesh Vashne, would you like to respond Kerala, to that? Former no, chief Nambia is saying, Mr. Nambia is saying, he lives in, he is living in some paradise, I don't understand. Do you see, you, allegation is a different thing. Reality is a different thing. I again repeat, 
we have strong fight against all communal organizations we, the communists are known for fighting against the communal and communal organizations right wingers throughout the world eight pfi b h r s s vishindu parishad or or any other right winger organization in the world but i would look like to know rss you even have an idea just coming in people are being alert anybody who found of affiliating with the rss and then involved in the communal right or instigating the right or supporting the right wing organization you say they are not from us because you don't give audit and membership you have dakshina system your accounts are never been audited the nagpur accounts have never been audited because you say it is a dakshina system so you don't have receipts or anything that is a problem you right, i think we are going away from i think we are going away from from the incident right. I, I, you know from from changing the character of the malabar course to to nagpur and finances over there i think we are actually missing the point over here if this is a fight against terror then that is welcome but the larger question is and is this has been raised is it a it fight is, against terror is. or is it actually targeting of certain groups uh, for, uh, uh, for for reasons which they say are baseless and a witch hunt that's something which ultimately a court will decide i'm going to wrap this up over here thank you all of you very much for being with us